here we go this is uh, the spirit baby messages for October 2020 I just channeled them so they are fresh out of the oven here it is the first one uh, is the request for rainbows so it's quite interesting because in this meditation I had a lot of inputs from the private sessions that I've had during this week so you might recognize yourself but they were also general messages for others so the first one as I said is rainbows there's a need for uh, rainbows in your life you need vibrant colors do rainbow meditation I will try and share the one that I've done um, if you meditate rainbows could also be signs they're positive signs they are signs of validations if you have questions and you see rainbows it means your spirit baby is acknowledging whatever you're saying and it, it is validating your questions yeah the other part was animals this um, this keeps coming they're often animals it is like as if spirit babies are drawn to the playfulness and to certain characteristics of animals um, it could be that they want to connect with that energy it could be that they want you to connect to the qualities of that spirit animal um, and I could see a lot of varieties so the request was meditate and connect to me your spirit baby and ask what are the animals that I'm connected to and um, how you're going to use that well it depends you could buy stuffed animals you could connect with the energies the qualities of that animal uh, which leads me to the second point which was um, bringing the qualities of that animal in yourself and the babies this month are asking you to be um, more kind and generous they ask you to be kinder to yourself and to the others and to spread generosity they there is a big part also related to the mother-in-law and there is a need and it's very important at this stage to harmonize the relationship the messages that were coming uh, today is a lot it has a lot to do with the new generation the new types of souls and they want to come in a world that is kinder that is more generous where um, where there is less anger where there is less tension um, they want to come in a world that is renewed and they will not come otherwise so they're asking you to do your job do your part do your you know clear the air arm harmonize your relationships um, increase your vibration um, it, it brings me now to self-care I was getting images of a flower bath where you can do rituals where you nurture yourself you take care of yourself you detox you de-stress but it's about clearing um, anxiety clearing uh, heavy emotions uh, and mainly anger this time I, I always talk about increasing the vibration but here it's really about letting go of resentment and anger and frustration to be more Zen it, it might sound cheesy but it's really about being peaceful quiet bringing serenity and harmony within the family so it's time to it's time to speak up it's time to tell your truth but as I say often when you want to communicate sync connect your heart with your mouth or your throat chakra you want them to be connected it's very important to speak your truth but you have to set the intention is the intention to harm the other one is it is the intention to prove a point or is the intention um, to harmonize to to start all over again to start on a clean slate to forgive so that you can move on don't forget forgiveness doesn't mean that you say what you've done is okay it means that you choose to free yourself from the consequences of the acts of the past so if you want to harmonize relationships it's still important to be assertive to to bring your point across and to be true to yourself if you're not you're going to resent yourself bring in more anger frustration and all of that energy is not good it's not good for you it's not good for the baby or the spirit baby is waiting for this energy to go away in order to come in um, which also brings now the point of making space in your existing family 
there, it may be a bit too crowded. There may be energies that are filling the space and the baby cannot come through. So think about, meditate one more time on your actual family. It could be just you and your partner. It could be um, the extended family. It could be that you already have children, yours together or one or the other or both. You're a joint family and it's very crowded and the new baby doesn't know where his or her space is. So try to make uh, space in terms of high vibrations. I was seeing walks in the mountains. Um, and, and yes, another important factor is be open to or be open to genders. You cannot imagine the impact of your wish of the gender of the baby. Imagine that you are desperately wanting for a boy, but the soul that is meant to be is a girl. It's going to confuse that baby a lot. So be open, be accepting of both, be welcoming of both. Finally, what also came through was the number 33. So that might ring a bell to you, but this number uh, is for you to be aware of. That's it for the month of October. If you have any messages, if you have specific questions, if you want to do your own personal spirit baby session, message me. I'm also going to put the link in the bio of the spirit baby communication course for beginners. And I've had very good reviews about it. And, and if that helps you communicate yourself with your spirit baby, then I'm the happiest person on earth. So stay tuned, check out the links in the bio. If you have questions, post them here and I'll see you in November. Enjoy. Bye.